Rancho Mirage. Where is it? Why go there? Who cares? And what's the deal? Rancho Mirage is a city just over 10 miles from Palm Springs, California. It is in the Coachella Valley, and it has a population of just under 17,000 people. After my research, I learned that this city justifies an entire series of videos. But this video features the Rancho Mirage Library and Observatory. Yes, you heard that right. The Rancho Mirage Library and Observatory. Ooh yeah. Most people probably would not think that cool and libraries go together. But let me show you why this library is cool. Aside from the air conditioning on a hot day. One of the first things I noticed is that this library has a huge parking lot. And, as you can see, I brought the Christmas spirit, since my visit occurred in the month of December. The city's library was established in 1996, then moved to this location in 2006. And this place was a welcome opportunity to get out of the car after a long drive. But before I would enter the library, I was eager to check out the observatory. There is a cool shaded walkway between the library and observatory buildings. Wait, did I just say cool again? And I spotted a jet leaving a streak across the sky. And of course I had to help show off the desert oasis all around me for the camera. And then I started heading to the library when I was greeted by a friendly worker and we talked for a while. One cool thing I discovered about this library is that they allow the public to use the internet without a library card, which I did. You know, I am just now realizing while editing this video that the Christmas tree is made of books, with some other decorations thrown in. In fact, I only learned about this library from doing some research on some Indian casinos in the area for which I visited and have upcoming videos. I always liked crystals and geodes as a kid. In fact, in elementary school, I won an amethyst at an assembly from some science presentation group. And I also had some crystal kits growing up as a kid as well. Apparently, President Ford was present at the 1996 dedication of the library, and they have a letter from him to the original library director on display, in which he remarks that libraries are for everybody, the rich and the poor. Three libraries have been significant settings in my own life. My hometown library in the city of Orange, the UC Santa Barbara Library, and the Santiago Canyon College Library. All three claim special feelings and special memories, all housed within a special section within my soul. And it is so cool that this library has a coffee bar. Books and coffee go so well together. And the only other library I know of with a cafe is the one in Los Angeles.
And of course, I had to get a coffee, even though I did not really need it. And here, I tried to embody the spirit of Christmas, libraries, and caffeine in this one shot. And since you are watching this video, you are watching this scene, you know that this library was an excellent canvas for me when I visited to make this video. Because there I am, just me, in one of their chairs, with my small camera set up on their table. Just a very cozy scene, all in the Rancho Mirage Public Library. And heck, they have art exhibits. And they have a fish tank. Outside, I appreciated their cool desert landscaping lining the epic parking lot and their sculptures. And then it was time to fly the drone. Then it would be time to meet in the library for the observatory tour. The observatory opened in 2018. And there I go, paying attention to details, aka that plane in the sky that nobody else cares about. Well, except those people on the plane and their loved ones, but I digress. The mood lighting was strong in this room. Honestly, I forgot most of what was said during this tour, which is a good reason for you to do the tour for yourself. Tours are currently at 3 p.m. on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays, free of charge.
And that was a crowd-pleasing moment. And then we headed into the main telescope dome. And I did my best to capture the epic drama of this engineering feat and the human quest to explore space. Apparently the lens aperture is 700 millimeters, making it 10 times bigger than IMAX lenses. While not officially a dark sky community, Rancho Mirage has enough protection from light pollution to make it suitable for stargazing. And there are nighttime stargazing events open to the public as well. Unfortunately, I had to leave the tour early to make sure that I got to my next stop in time for sunset. That video will probably be out in a couple of weeks. And with that, blessings.